All right, y'all, let's get into it. Um, today's video, as you guys can see with that title, I did find one new additional way to punch out even more damage than I've already been pushing out, that I've already shown. Um, so as you saw, um, most of my videos starting up with Fallout was just normal queen runs and just showcasing, you know, hitting around 170, 180, just hitting that default mark, just going as fast as I can. And then recently it was adding the shotgun method, making tenderizer, um, go to 40% versus just 20 or versus just 10, and then stacking that 40 with um, follow through 40 to get 196% um, output on your damage and how we punched out so much and uh, just showcasing what that does with other weapons, with other fixers. Um, as you can see by the, the visual floating numbers, as the data miners like to call it, um, but I was talking with him because I've been doing a lot of tests lately and if I've, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but the magazines I said on my end, I don't feel like they work, like stinging magazine and perforating magazine. I was, I was telling you guys why I don't feel like they're doing anything because I don't see any damage changes. I never see any visual damage changes in the floating numbers, which I know you're never supposed to trust floating numbers, but with the fixers and just regular commando builds, They've usually been really trustworthy um, as far as just the base damages on the output. It, it never shows crit damage, especially when you're holding Y the whole time and it's auto critting. The crits at that point are all client side, server side. Um, so it's accounted for, but you're not going to see it visually. It's only accounted for on the other side, um, which I've known that. But the floating numbers apparently don't show the damage with the magazines but you are dealing them though i was talking to a data miner yesterday the one that's helped me out with the tenderizer shotgun method and he was saying he's like hey you know i know we shouldn't trust floating numbers but i do believe someone did mention to me before that the stinging magazine and perforated magazine they do stack with um grant with tank killer which tank killer you'll see your damage increase when you have this perk on it shows you visually um when you have this card on but he said it doesn't show, even though it stacks with tank killer multiplicatively, it doesn't show it visually. It only is, a, again, is a client side thing. And I said, how will I know? He's like, just look at the health bar compared to before and after. Um, and with the quad fixer, I think I did a video using, you know, this damage method with the quad fixer. Um, if I haven't, I have some other clips of it. And I, um, with the quad fixer, using Quick Magazine, which I've always used for a while, it takes about... It takes a little over a one and a quarter, so maybe a little over a hundred shots to mutate the queen. Doing exactly what I do normally, a um, little over a hundred shots. From full health, even when she's like slightly below full, it still takes around a hundred shots to mutate her. Uh, so I put on perforating mag and I knew I wasn't going to see visual numbers. But when you stack tank killer with... Um, the perforating magazine, her damage resistance. So the queen, if you didn't know, her damage resistance is 275. And what you do is you put tank killer in there. Um, it reduces it, obviously. But when you, in order to stack and do the equation properly, you'll take uh, tank killer, which one minus 0.36, you could take 0.64. Um, and then you would take uh, one minus 0.4, you'd have 0.6. Um, and so what you do from there is you just do 0 0.6 times 0 0.64 um, Which is 0.384 and you multiply that by her damage resistance, which is 275 um, and you'd get uh, 105 damage resistance after both those are applied um, but because the game Only keeps track of the magazine client side. You're only visually going to see what you're doing with tank killer So at that point the visual numbers are off I looked at her health and it took one magazine, one perforated magazine, it took one magazine of 80 shots to fully mutate the queen. It didn't take 100, it took exactly 80. Now she was slightly, slightly below full, but it doesn't matter. Even when she was pretty much significantly below full, it still took more than a full mag with um, quick magazine. But with perforating, it took literally just one whole magazine and she was mutated. Um, it's crazy. So I knew it worked, tested on Earl 2. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm actually gonna launch an Earl first. I'll do two fights in one video. 
Um, and I'll do Earl because I never usually do Earl fights for you guys. So I'll show you guys an Earl fight and then we'll do a queen fight. Um, and we'll just sh showcase exactly how to do it. Um, and the build did change up a little bit. Um, I took, uh, I put on, so I put on Endurance and I usually have, I had Funky Duds? I forgot what I normally had in this slot right here. I had a different something else. I had something else here. But I just put this back on and then I took, oh shoot. Okay, no, no, it's fine. Um, I took off uh, whatever that was, put Endurance on. I took some points out of Intelligence, put it here. So I'm, I'm gaining, this is normal. I have the extra 45 max health, which boosts your uh, base health as well when you're bloodied. Um, Nocturnal Fortitude, I just added this, which is why you just heard that sound. Um, I'm getting a lot more health now with Nocturnal Fortitude at night. Um, Chem Fiend, I'm doing this because I recently just started using uh, Rad Shield, and I'll show you why. Uh, but I'm getting 300% radiation resistance um, because I'm not using Secret Service anymore. As you will see now, I'm using a new armor. Um, so this is just so my rad shield lasts for 30 minutes per piece so I can use less. I can, you know, make the most out of what I have. Radical, I had an extra slot so I used it have more carry weight. Revenant, this is a must and you'll see me use it. You'll see how it goes. It gives me 50% more damage, which 50% of the base damage of a fixer which 40 is the base damage, 50% of that is 20. I'm getting plus 20 damage, which is super helpful. Rejuvenated, you only need one star. Um, it gives me increased benefits when I'm fully fed, which what I do every day is I'll buy perfect gobble gum and I'll just eat it so that I'm always getting the benefit from this, which is more HP, okay, more base HP, um, and also a lot more AP regen, which I do need, um, which is always good. And also disease resistance, so we're not catching the blight. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I changed. Um, I do, since I took my serums, so I'm going to take off class. When I'm not doing queen fights and boss fights, I'll put on class freak instead of using serums. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on better criticals three. All right. So now that you've seen what the build is, it's I've only changed things in endurance. This is super good if you want a lot of health and bloodied. Um, my maximum health I can have is about 103 in bloodied, um, but after eating some food and taking that slight bit of radiation, it goes down to like 90, but still that's a lot of health for being bloodied. Um, but yeah, that's what I changed there, and I also added some buffs, so I'll go ahead and take them now. Uh, what the heck is that? Okay, I'm going to take Blight Soup for 60%, well it's supposed to be 40%, but I have on Live and Love 3 to increase the benefits from all my foods. So I'll take a blight soup, uh, I'll take a corn soup so we can have a 9 AP regen, which is super strong, uh, super strong. It's equal to like two, three pieces of, you know, a, a AP regen armor pieces. So we'll take going fungus soup for extra rad resist. Um, this one I've been using is super good at last an hour. It gives you a lot of max AP, which when you're in VATS, you get more AP in VATS. This increases it further. This is just good to have for this build. AP is always a plus. So um, we'll take this. Um, we'll go ahead and take this for just some uh, disease resist. And then the last one, Tato Salad, 90 max HP. Holy cow. We'll take that. And... Uh, I, I can be a little higher than this HP and still be a nerd rate, but we'll see what our health is right now. 92. After everything, we are at 92 HP. Uh, I need to take another Live and Love 3. Okay. Make sure that lasts. And I'm using Curator so that the Bobblehead and the Live and Love can last a lot longer. Make the most of them. Um, don't worry about the serums. Um, if you don't want to use better criticals, you can still keep Class Freak. It won't really do that much to your damage. Here, you'll be fine. Um, don't worry about the serum part. Um, but you see there, max HP 60, Blight Soup 60%, more crit damage, um, you know, more damage, obviously. AP Regen, Rad Exposure, aka Rad Resist, Perfect Gobble Gum, so we're getting maxed uh, benefits from Rejuvenated all the time. Uh, Razor Grain Soup for Disease Resistance, and Tato Salad for that more HP, okay? What we fed, we get more HP, um, more strength, disease resistance, and then down here, Hydrated, AP regen 40%, that's super strong, and then more disease resistance, okay? You're saying, oh, what does that have to do with damage? This, you'll see, alright? 
So we got all the survivability. I wanted to make sure I told you guys that I changed that. And for anyone who's new, who's a bloody build and you're at wow right now with all these health secrets, health number one is the first key to survivability. You can be a bloody build and be a literal vibranium cannon and never die. You, you can literally, you don't have to be a glass cannon, bro. You literally do not have to be a glass cannon, um, especially with legendary perks, okay? Perks one more time. Um, it's all here. Uh, the main thing you need here is uh, blocker, bandolier. These ones you don't need. Uh, tribal farm. If you don't use chems, don't use this, okay? The only things you need here are blocker um, and bandolier. You will get caught sometimes. There is no such thing as perfect stealth, especially when rat scorpions and mole rats exist. You cannot escape them. They will get you caught and the mobs will swarm you. You do need blocker. That is super important. It, commando, pretty straightforward, tank killer, ground pounder, all the commandos, contrary to fire, you only need rank 1 because the other ranks are useless. Um, I went over this, tenderizer is 10%, but with the shotgun debuff, you'll see every 10 seconds we use a shotgun to have 4 pellets, debuff the target to 40% more damage instead of just 10%. Um, as I said, stacks with follow through to get 196%, nerd rage, more damage, AP regen, obviously. Demo expert so I can down myself before the fight a little bit quicker. Gunsmith so I'm not using so much repair kits even though I have unlimited supplies to be doing that. Um, Mr. Sandman, make sure you equip this first. Okay, so Sandman first, then Covert Operative to get the 3.75. Escape Artist, in case we lose our stealth, we can just get it back immediately. Gunfu, so we're swapping targets each time we kill, so we're just going through the mobs, getting that adrenaline a lot quicker. Uh, and adrenaline, obviously. Um, getting more damage, getting the max out of our kills. Dodgy, in case we get caught. We take literally no damage. Um, your AP drain, it actually doesn't do what it says because they buffed it. Um, when enemies hit you, they have 3 seconds before they can drain your AP again. Which your AP would have already, that little bit of HP you lost would have already regen already back to full. So, I mean, and during that cooldown, you still take the reduction of damage. So there's no reason to be scared of this perk, alright? Um, and covert operative. Bloody mess, more damage, curator, bobbleheads and magazines. If you don't use bobbleheads and magazines, I mean, sure, uh, put something else here, I don't care. Uh, starch jeans, uh, critical savvy, mixed with 33 luck, which we have 35, will get you a critical every second shot. Good with salt, because we're carrying lots of food around, obviously, but if you don't carry food, or you make a little time, or you use your freezer, or you have the backpack that, you know, reduces that or whatever, you can change this out for serendipity or whatever, Grim Reapers, whatever you want. Uh, better criticals, you need this for more damage, unless you want to use Class Freak. So it's up to you. Alright, and we will all see you guys when I drop the nuke. Alright, so I did forget to show you guys the armor. Um, the armor I'm using. Um, well, we will use this so right before when it hits like 30, 30 seconds or 20 seconds, we will equip life saving full set to get a 98% chance to revive ourselves. So once we equip this, we'll down ourselves using an explosive gun and we'll pick ourselves back up to activate Revenant. Alright? To get this extra damage. But the armor I use for the main fight and everything else is full unyielding um, with one piece being a thorn set, a uh, thorn piece. Um, I'm currently grinding, I've been grinding every day for script modules. Um, and Vault Steel. So you need Vault Steel along with modules to craft this, which Vault Steel does cost script, but it doesn't cost very much script. So I have one piece so far. I haven't rolled any other pieces yet. I'm saving to mass craft, but my, I do have an unyielding thorn chest piece. And unyielding is the only good thing here. Um, but that's all you need. That's all you need, especially when you have corn soup and things like company tea that completely eliminate the need for AP refresh that give you your AP back instantly. Um, and then we have, uh, this one. Until I get the rest of the thorn, I'm using unyielding AP refresh, 70, uh, a unyielding AP refresh sentinel. Um, which this only really comes into use when I get caught by the queen or something like that. I'll stand up briefly, um, or standing in the middle of, you know, robots and you just stand still and you shoot, you'll take no damage. This is good for daily ops and whatnot. Um, but really, I'm, I'm only here for the unyielding part. Uh, AP refresh is good. It's ideal, but you can get around um, that right there. But yeah, we're using the rest of it. It's all the same unyielding sentinel pieces. But the main thing you want here is all unyielding. As long as you have unyielding, it can be one star, you'll be fine. All right?
All right, so I was thinking, you know, if you don't care about all that, you know, endurance cards, you actually do need um, Revenants. This is a must if you're going to be doing any fights. Um, if you're going to be doing fights in general, I mean, you don't have to carry the chems on you all the time. You can just keep a couple on your stash, take them when you do the fight. But one thing you do need on you is Revenant. You do need Revenant. If you're going to do these fights, you need Revenant. Um, the chems are optional, but I highly suggest using them to mid-max. This is what we got to work with right now after the damage nerf. Um, Revenant is a must. This is something you must have, is at least to the rest of these points can go elsewhere. It doesn't matter. Um, but you at least need this, okay? And if you don't use Endurance, you can go ahead and throw on Funky Duds, um, which I have at rank 3, which you only need rank 2, even rank 1, but rank 2. Funky Duds, you're immune to anything poison. Earl literally almost does no damage to you. His spit does no damage. The little acid barrels do no damage. The Myler Queen doesn't do damage. Like, you take no damage from poison. It's insane. So if you're not going to use Endurance uh, card, I highly suggest using Funky Duds. Um, but just for the sake of having the best probability, you definitely want to use Endurance. Um, and our gun of choice right now will be the uh, quad fixture for the fight, quadruple, faster fire rate, less fast cost. Um, to be honest, there's not very many other roles that will be doing good. Quad 50, sure, but um, I've timed it, and with this kind of magazine, this is the most you should have is 80. Um, that's, that's the default, but that's the most you should have, because with the 10 seconds you get of that maximum tenderizer mix, for 40%, the 10 seconds ends as soon as this 80, 80 shots is over with faster fire rate. So if you're using quad 50 crit damage, that 10 seconds is going to be done before you're done shooting. And if that's the case, when that 10 seconds is over, if you're still shooting a single projectile weapon like the fixer, the timer will reset to 1 and you will be stuck with 10% and you cannot pull out your shotgun and override it. You will have to suffer 10 more seconds of only getting 10% down the riser instead of 40 which is all multiplicative, so in the long run, instead of getting 196% from mixing tenderizer and follow through, you're only gonna get, um, let's see, here. you're only gonna get 154%, which is a lot less than 196% damage. Um, so, quad 50 crit damage, again, proved inferior. Um, so, as long as you have faster fire rate, you are good to go. You do the third, it can be whatever, as long as the build is the way it is come copied, you don't have to worry about your AP. You really don't have to worry about it. Um, faster fire rate is literally what you want. It can be a two star or whatever. Um, but yeah, you literally want faster fire rate to make that 10 seconds work so that you can reload and only reset the timer once you've used the shotgun, okay? Since we have Chem Fiend, we'll go ahead and take overdrive first. All right, this is what you need to do. Overdrive first, okay? Psycho task next, okay? Then bullets to Bach next, all right? I'm gonna go down here, we'll wait a couple seconds, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna do an extra thing. There's only three Wendigos, but if you want the six kills for Max Adrenaline, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So we'll go ahead and down ourselves, because this fight will be over, hopefully, in a good amount of time. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Pick ourselves up. Put our other armor back again. That should be Nerd Rage. So pull out the Quad Fixer, uh, and then pull out. That's not Nerd Rage, you kidding me? There. Okay, and we'll pull out a Blowfly Syringer. So watch this, watch this stuff. Hit him with it, he's gonna follow me. Yeah, follow me, buddy, follow me, buddy. Hit him with it. Hit him with it, come on. Okay, this is how we get six kills. Kill the fly. And this guy's dead. And kill the boat fly. Boom. Max adrenaline right there. Okay? Easy. Okay, so now we have max adrenaline for 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and go over to Earl. And let's watch the magic happen. Max adrenaline. Okay, the 10 seconds reset. It's gonna go ahead and the shotgun. Uh oh. All right, adrenaline's dropping. All 
All right, at least a little bit of gung fu, bro. We are missing, bro. What is that? Come on, bass. That was 10 seconds. Go ahead and hit him there. Oh, that's just a little bit of poison. All right. Should be good. We're on a good timing right now. All right, and we'll finish him off with an Executioner's. Good. Which if you didn't see, I just pulled out this at the end. It's multiplicative damage, so. We had not only 196, but we actually had 274% when we um, added this on there. Okay. All right, really quick, uh, before we do this next queen, <laughs> Yeah, I had some technical difficulties after that last um, Earl. It was like 1 or 2 a.m. in-game, which by the time the next nuke gets launched and dropped, it's not daytime, so I'm losing a significant bonus to Sandman. Not only that um, happened, but uh, I remembered that I just used my last blight soup, or sorry, blight soup, um, so I had to go grab more of those, which would have way taken away time, and I definitely wouldn't have launched before a daytime game. And then I had to go make some more serums uh, for myself. Um, and it was just a whole, whole mess. Uh, and then I actually literally did, like, I just came back. You see, it's 11 p.m. I did a queen and I, you know, did everything, uh, talked about, you know, come in here and for the queen, you want to take off whatever is your other third perk here and switch it for Tormentor 3, uh, aka anti bitch perk, make sure land. Um, and, yeah, I put two full magazines into her wing. She never, she never landed. She did, like, three or four crop dusting runs. It was past two minutes time before she even landed the first time. So I lost out on Revenant. I lost out on good timing. I still finished it off, but I was pretty pissed. So um, I decided to redo it. This is my last nuke uh, in this server before I have to wait another two hours or something to do another nuke. Um, for you guys, <laughs> just so you guys can see and get the point across, so it's been about an hour since I last, uh, since I did that Earl fight. Um, but we'll go ahead and do this, hopefully it works out for you guys. Uh, then again, I did almost forget to put Tormentor, I put it right as she spawned in, and I just, it, it was, it was a hot mess, man. Um, but hopefully this last nuke does it, uh, we'll go ahead and nuke, and I will see you guys there. And yeah, as you guys can see here, yeah, I, I already nuked. Um, I literally already nuked the queen. Um, and you see this little patch of grass, all you gotta do is come up here, line it up right here. Just as long as you're launching near the site, she'll spawn. All right? this guy out of the sky wow I, I mean I wasn't expecting to hit all the pellets but it is what it is we need to get rid of him we cannot have him up there oh danger wow oh, wow you're, you're just it's amazing Go ahead and go. We still have rad shields. We have everything on. Ooh. Dude. Oh. What the fuck? We have everything on. Do we need to put anything else on? No. Uh. Let's. No. We should be alright without the infused. Um. Yeah, we're good. Live and love three. No. Let's just take another one of those. Okay, what the hell's going on here, bro? Everyone and their moms wants to freaking... Dude, get it. Jeez. Okay. 
This is why we have survivability, folks, so that we don't die like this. That's a lot of mob. That is a lot of mob right there. So you got even that low, we're still at 65 HP. Okay, you suddenly you somehow just see? Sneak isn't even perfect. Uh will we actually get away with some of this five minute left? Yeah, we should be able to. We'll just take another blight suit just in case. Dude, fuck off, man. Overdrive, tads, and bot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, go away. Yeah, go away, go away, go away, go away. Yep, crippled. Yep, good, good, good. Much better already. Now, if you could just please do, just do us all a favor and land. And look at perforating mag. Look at that perforating magazine. Look at that perforating magazine doing its thing. Oh, let's go. Anti bitch, yep, you're gonna land. Perfect. Nope, no poison. No poison. No poison. Yes. And that just took some time away, that's not bad. There you go, we're back to normal. Good, good, good. And what do you know? Wow. That's all good. We'll just fucking kill her with executioners. Huh? Less than a minute and a half. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. Alright, you fuckers are gonna die now. You guys can excuse yourselves. I will take that. That is good redemption. This game has redeemed itself. I am no longer pissed. I was in a really bad mood. Not only could I not, you know, continue to nuke in that first server, but, like, I literally was out of some food buffs. I, I just... And then the next nuke was just a screwed over queen run. Like, it was so bad. I was I was angry. I was, I was very angry. I, I was not happy at all. That totally made up for it. I'm very happy with that. You know, whoa, a thousand damage with a quad. Wait, actually does more than that. This is the perforating magazine. That, that perforating magazine just destroying. Absolutely destroying. <sighs> if only that was a three star. Uh, I'll just take that. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll use the rest of this on this creature right here. And we missed, like... Two pellets. You come over here, bro. What the? F You'd come back. These guys are scared. Oh uh, wait, we'll go ahead and put um, go ahead and put a good assault back. Huh, Nineteen hundred. Let's go. Oh, okay, instantly. Oh, instantly killed. It wasn't exactly executioners, but... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. This was like an hour long, hour, 20 minute long video. I'm gonna cut it though. Obviously I'm gonna edit it out and 
and all the metal stuff, so you only see Earl and you only see this fight. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That is how to maximize your damage with the best mod in the game, the best item, uh, which is Perforating Magazine. Right there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let's see what my health is. 84. Yeah, we did take some radiation damage there. But hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, I'll be happy to answer all the questions. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one.